sports posters. You guys have been really enjoying it. I've been really enjoying it. We've now done Formula One. We've also done basketball. It's time for some football, baby, because why not? Now, one thing I had a few comments actually say, I want to see a grunge style. And I'm like, OK, let's do that in this video. So I'm going to put myself in my 2019 brain and hopefully make some really cool grunge, but like aesthetically make it look better at least. Also, as per usual, do not forget to check out the everything pack. It's the first link in the description down below where you basically all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase, plus all future products for free, no matter the price forever and ever. So if you've seen any little products in this video today, that's probably where they're from. So yeah, just, yeah, go get it. Just don't, don't think about it. It's gonna be the best purchase you'll make ever. So let's go ahead and start off with our mood board and what we got going on today's video. So this first poster, it just had this really cool typography. I kind of want to try also the strokeness felt pretty cool. And the obvious tilt of the entire frame was something that I thought was pretty cool because it brought a lot of energy. Uh, this second poster over here, I just really enjoyed the kind of double exposure going on. I just felt kind of just dope. This third poster, I actually really enjoyed the typography concept for the verses. Now, I don't think I'm doing any verses, but I just kind of enjoyed the idea of what it actually looked like and just, you know, the style of it. And then these last two posters, I just really enjoyed the black and white aspect of it. And I love the red as well. So I wanted to take this color scheme and just make it my own and try to make it just seem so dark and like evilish, but like grungy, but like dope. Does that make sense? I thought I would do Patrick Mahomes as my poster. So I have some like little pictures already. I'm going to throw it in cut them out and let us just get started with putting some things on the canvas so my poster ratio for today is 1944 by 2160 a very random one but like everyone asks me usually so that's my that's my resolution by the way now here are my two photos that i have going on here so the first photo i believe is going to be like my background photo just like my 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 feel good energy photo we're going to cut this baby out with using so, um, some select subject now his hair is going to be a mission i'm not going to lie to you and also some of these corners since they're already red it might not pick up so I'm gonna have to go in here, make it nice and pretty for us just so we got something nice. I always never know whether or not I wanna keep me cutting things out in the video, but there's someone out there that is still pen tooling their stuff and I just wanna show them, just use select subject. Use Q in the keyboard and take your brush and then just paint around the edges that it missed and you're good. Now, the hair is obviously not good. So we're gonna double click on this layer mask. We're gonna clear this little brush right here, this third brush, the actual brush tool and just kind of really quickly paint in where his hair should be because I kind of got it lost. I think this is the only side that's kind of messed up. Then I use this second hair brush called the Refine Hair Brush. Click on the blue and select and just try to get really close to it. So that way we get a little bit more of a better cut out. It's not the best, but it's pretty decent. I'm going to shift the edge over to the left as well. A little bit of contrast, maybe make the hair a little bit less terrible. So his hair should be a little bit. I mean, is that what a thorny looks like? I mean, you can't judge it for a bad hair day. I mean, it looks pretty bad here, but it, it works. It, it's fine. But you also see the, the shift edge on that as well. Kind of gets rid of this little casting or this little line here. You can see if I get rid of it, right? So it makes her cut out really nice and clean. This looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually participate in this uh, squared off ratio thing. I, I really like that. What if I use the Kansas City or Kansas is like map? like the shape of it on the map. Are you sticking with me here? So this is what I was talking about, okay? So if I took this, just drag this in here, use a little bit of image trace, and now I have the literal state. <laughs> this might be, this might be so bad. What I want out of this is to kind of have the back of this feel like a back plate, of course, but then I'm trying to figure out as well if I'm trolling with like this random cut out of the shape, will people notice? Probably not. Is it cool? Probably kind of in a way, but is it worth having to convince people it works? I don't know. Let's give this a nice color correction. I almost want this to kind of come outside of the object a little bit more. And the way I'm actually going to pop this, I'm going to make a duplicate take the layer mask, press B on my keyboard, use black and erase the bottom. So now his shoulder and his head kind of pops out, makes it look pretty decent. We're working out there. Now, actually, before I do that, I'm actually have to make it black and white first. So let's take it make a nice little black and white gradient. Now, for now, this is pretty good because what I'm actually going to do here immediately is going to group this together, combine this together, use a little smart object over here, go into the camera roll filter and make this a little bit more of a black and white that I know I can work with by using a bunch of texture and a bunch of clarity because What's grunge without a bunch of texture? Next, we're gonna actually drag in a texture over here that I have. This texture will play a pretty big part in just making this look a lot better and really grungy pretty much immediately. Now, unfortunately, it's not that high quality of a texture, but the good thing is we can come back over here to camera roll filter once again, and we can take a nice little texture brush to it, a little bit of clarity as well, go back over here, add a little bit of sharpen, and then just because 
a little bit of noise because if it is a paper texture, it makes more sense for it to have a little bit of grain to it. And now we got ourselves a pretty decent, it's not, it's not great still. Now I want to start adding a little bit of color. So I'm actually going to do that by using the text brush or text tool, text brush. And I'm also going to just maybe use like a Dharak maybe all capital letters and just make this a nice, I mean, this is not as menacing of a red as that I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. I really enjoy this like black and white and then menacing red. It just feels appropriate. The thing is, is I'm asking myself, wouldn't the square be better? Did I overthink it or overdo it with the, the Missouri State cutout? Because I just feel like it's not sharing the space that I'm like needing it to do. I'm taking an audible. I'm going to take an audible here. I'm going to go ahead and say I think the Missouri State cutout was messing up my concept. And I'm going to opt to actually do a square to make it feel a little more better, in my opinion. I think that's better. Also, I'm going to add actual noise to this. And then maybe this will... Oh, then now I can make this look more black and white too. So honestly, what I'm also considering myself here is do I want to take some of these like uh, smart color, color ranges here, take the highlights of this immediately, like highlights. Let's make them pretty like up there. Let's use a little curve balance kind of going on here. Now, I don't know if I want to use curves. I want to use levels. Let's use levels this time. Usually I use levels anyway. And I just want to make these highlights a little bit more just like dramatic without it overblowing the, the actual whites in his face. I'll do that one more time, but this time I'm using shadows and just trying to capture that intensity. It also took the background, which is, I guess, okay in this case. I'm also going to go here and add this texture as well. Now, this texture is not great on black, but I actually want to press control I. The white just makes it feel a little bit, just feels, it feels nice. Let's go ahead and add this photo as well. Also, is this even him? This is him, right? Because of the, the 15. I was wild. I was just freaked out because the face just doesn't match. Like, it looks so young here. Maybe he's just like really young. I don't know. Now, do I want the photo like super small? Have like a like a shadow on his feet? Or do I want this like to be a little bit more bigger? Maybe just like command the space just like so. Now, the least I might do here is start adding some more text to this because I think that's going to help this concept a lot. Like, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. After this point, I'm pretty much just in no man's land. What is next? Now, it could be like anything based on like the photo size or the text size, adding maybe his number in as well. Stretch Sands is always a nice little touch for the record. I just think this is a really good sporty kind of graphic or sporty type of sporty typeface. There we go. So here's what I'm thinking. The, well, here's the first thing we're thinking. We got to do this color correction on this guy. And I also think it might be a little bit better on this grungy kind of concept to even tone down the intensity of his like color, uh, his actual pigment of his skin. We're going to see what happens, though, if we do this. So we're going to add a little bit of texture, obviously a bunch of clarity. Let's take this vibrance and lower it down just a little bit, not the saturation. We're going to take the actual reds, though, and put that pretty far up and take the oranges, put it down a little bit. Same thing with the yellow. Maybe like the yellow can come up too, actually. I think at this point, every other color should be gone away. This ugly yellow tone is really, really annoying here, though. Like if I get rid of it, it looks bad because it gets rid of the color on that. So I might just keep it on for here for a second, take a duplicate, then lower it. And with this duplicate, I'll take this and just erase around areas that should be there. Boom. Ah, you thought I was going to miss this. I did not. Uh -huh. I'm always going to play with a little bit of typography over here, just like Taking his name, duplicating a few times, he just makes it look pretty cool. I even might throw in the NFL logo, but even before I do any of those other like smaller things, I need to figure out if I want to do something with the space, right? What I'm thinking in my head is, do I want to, I have this photo here, which is really good. I have this photo here, which just makes sense. Do I want to add like another extra photo here? Maybe another extra photo down here to give it some kind of like dimension. Cause I have all these cool, crazy flow lines from the uh, the back square plate, but I don't feel like I'm actually doing anything with it. Like something along these lines here where this person kind of went outside of the box literally and applied something to it as well. I also want to try really quick. This little gray is such a nice gray. It's like a bluish kind of undertone. I want to take this and see what happens when I add it as like a back plate to one of these and see if I want to just start adding gray into the mix somewhere. Or if that's like, oh, what if this was like this? Or, or, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Playing with our typography a little bit. What if this box just kind of like sat like that? Then I can probably get rid of, I can probably keep the, the same two here, right? And then maybe this can be the color of this gray. I think that's kind of nice. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely feeling the direction I'm going here. I'm gonna kind of move. I don't like how much heaviness that kind of feels. Feels like it's taken away. I, I like this bottom piece a lot more. Let's see if we can find actual photos that might also work for it. This is what I got. I'm curious if any of these would work in our instance to like just grab like this one here. 
Let's flip this over the other way for a second. I know it's weird and dumb because it doesn't read 15 and it obviously looks flipped, but who's gonna really pay attention? Most people, but not me in this case. I'm gonna blind, take a blind eye, move it behind like so. I mean, ah, ooh, the 15 is like really odd. Now I'm wondering, is it gonna look good if I put another one? Where is it at? I think this one's pretty decent. It's like the only one that he doesn't also like, he's screaming in a lot of these. Does that look decent? Kinda. Before I make a duplicate though, I know it's gonna work. This is the part I don't like. Oh, wait a second. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? I, I need something to fill this space right here. Honestly, I would Jenner to fill this, but I, I just tried it. It definitely did not work. But I guess the next step of a Jenner to fill is going back to old reliable, which is content aware fill. Okay, I just want to get this spot right here to make it look nice and nice. Okay, let's see if that works. I mean, it's definitely not the best. I might have to give it a little bit of a warp too, so that way it really gets hidden, something like that. That's better. I just need that to happen so that I can just be comfortable with it, not just cutting off like that. It feels a little bit, if I'm being really genuinely honest with myself, a little bit hard to kind of like, like it's very collage -y, but also at the same time, it feels very like muddy. So let's see if we can actually fight for how we can actually navigate that. Cause it might be a universe where we have to like just add a little bit of depth or shadow or something in the background. To me though, this gray is doing a, a, like like the Lord's work. So I come over here, get rid of all these hard edges for a second. I mean, it makes it look so much better. It's actually unimaginable. It's, it's actually crazy. What the heck? I might even just say adding another one with like another glow. I know it's hard to make gray glow though in that sense. I might have to just make it white rather than change the blend mode though to make it glow. There we go. Bring, make it come out just a little bit. So now we have his, his actual person being like pushed off of the canvas a little bit more. And to me, that makes it just feel a lot better. Oh my God, it's like so much better, oh thank God. So I'm also thinking to myself, think I need to actually just move this square a little bit more. It almost feels like more like a mistake. I need it to be very intentional and show that like genuine push to curve it. Let's add in the NFL logo for a second because I need some kind of texture some kind of something to add into the, like into this. We'll take this, make this nice and tiny. I'm trying to figure out what like the, where the best spot might be. It might actually be like right here or like up here or like right, like oddly, like right here. I do definitely kind of like that. Now I'm also wondering, okay, this over here was super dope, but are these lines gonna feel out of place? I'm not sure, but I definitely wanna try though. So we can add in the strokes by using the like rectangle tool rather than the actual like just marquee tool or random stroke. Just literally use the rectangle, hover over it, turn off the fill, turn on the stroke, and then we got ourselves a nice little stroke. Actually, what if this NFL logo sat inside here and was white instead? Does that look pretty dope? It kind of do. So over here, they have they kind of have it like like sectioned off and like randomness. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna ruin the aesthetic we have. So now to me, if I add this like Kansas City, Missouri here, it looks really nice. It looks intentional. Does it feel like it's really heavy on this side though? Should I actually add it on this side instead? over here and then move this over here maybe i'm just let me just keep playing for a second i mean if i move this like this gray 15 on this side i get a little bit more gray on the canvas it makes it feel a little bit more like just nice it feels very collagey but it's already feeling collagey and i know it's a lot but that's literally the point i wanted to add quite a lot and see if i can make it work i mean i like i enjoy where the gray is I, I don't fully enjoy that I have so many different weights or like sizes of fonts. It feels a little bit like I could be a little more cohesive. So I'm actually gonna make this five and then see what happens if I make all of this five. I think that looks pretty good. I'm also gonna see if I wanna move this brightness up, maybe even duplicate it and do it one more time because that makes it feel even, I feel like I can't go wrong with taking him more and more further out the back of the actual poster. If I'm being candid though, like do I fully, like fully agree with the gray, like, like this, to me, still feels like really strong and powerful. This to me feels like I might be trying to do like a little bit too much with distraction with like actual shapes and colors. So I might even opt to just get rid of it. But like, if you enjoyed it, then I'm happy. We're on the same page. But I think realistically, probably not the best idea. I think the idea of me adding too many assets is coming into mind. So I kind of want to stop adding stuff and more just doing final touches instead. So in this case, I'm going to actually go ahead and I'm going to apply, we're going to add a little gradient map. This is called a gradient mesh, or I coined it that. It can be called whatever. Uh, I'm going to take a black and white, just like so. I think that's pretty decent. I'm going to click on the actual layer style. I'm going to go to select color range, and I'm going to basically select 10 or so range, 30 to 45, if I remember correctly, fuzziness is really good. I press OK. I turn it on and off for a second. 
you can see it sort of adds that really cool depth like really instantly without like going into using like actual clarity this i can control and as well i can go back into certain areas and say i don't want it to be too dark in this area here i think his hair is a little messed up there i kind of want to keep that darkness there maybe a, a touch of his hair or, or a touch of his leg in the foreground should be a little brighter and like that to me feels pretty dope it might be a little bit aggressive i can lower the tones just a tiny bit more like halfway or so but i think it's definitely worth adding that in obviously you can't have grunge without a little bit of like you know noise and stuff so i'm gonna add a little bit of scratches around see if it works out in my favor sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't i think in this case the exclusion i think it's called right yeah exclusion looks really good maybe i can even go ahead and add in one of my texture noises this can pretty much change the entire design like the overlay looks to be honest pretty cool i mean the hard light i mean oh my lord i can erase in a few spots I actually make this feel a little bit more like thoughtful my placement but Jesus, that looks really nice. It's been so long since I've been able to just throw assets at stuff. It's actually kind of fun. There's still a part of me though that wants to go back into the like the actual poster bit, like the this back part right here, and add in like this. Let's let me show you. Let me see. Let me, do you guys agree? Okay, boom. I jump cut it so you can kind of see. But if you didn't notice, I just added this little glow. I think it adds a little bit. I hope it does at least. I think it looks pretty decent. There's even a part of me that also wants to add like an outer glow to this name here too. It feels kind of nice, but it also feels kind of like a little childish on the glowish part. I just don't like it too much. I'm gonna opt for no glow, but I'm curious if you guys like the glow for sure. Let me know if you guys did. And then maybe one final color correction, go back into a camera raw filter. Looks nice and nice, press okay. And I think we're done. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm hoping you guys liked it. Like, I, I actually really enjoy the simplicity of the black and white that we went with. The reds, the way the unity of the red kind of works with the, like, the other supporting like photos on the left and right hand side. I think even without them, they would look pretty cool. Maybe even without like the um, the background, like these little lines here, even without this, right? It still looks pretty cool. I mean, like, it, I, it, it, now that I'm looking at it like with a new, like a new, like a new lens, I kind of like this more, but we're going to keep it like this. I still like this as well. So it, it, it I'm happy with this, but yo, you guys let me know if you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned something. I mean, hopefully you guys keep enjoying these sports posters. I don't know what sports to do next or if I got to start redoing stuff because I don't watch like hockey or like tennis. But with that being said, Sesso HQ out. Also for the record, this PSD, everything pack members do get this for free in the discord so if you guys have yet to of course join the everything pack club it's pretty much like i said in the beginning of the video a really cool place to be and also you can keep up with the latest trends because i want to keep up with trends which means you will keep up with trends when i do really cool assets for those trends so yeah yeah that's all i got a little soft plug at the end because i love you guys but yo so, so hq out ready to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking ready guys oh. later much love and peace